Hey folks, Carter again. I'm gonna do a different game, a scenario for a different game, just to have some friends out, show them how it's done in case they ever want to do it. Also, some other people might might want to learn how to do it. So the game is Imperium Galactic Survival. So I'm gonna put the Reforged Eden scenario onto it. So here goes. First thing is ever make sure the server shut down. See, have the server stopped. We go back out. I'm gonna go to Steam. I'm gonna find the mod. We reforged Eden. So I always hit on most subscribed. We change it up there again. Find it. It's here somewhere. Reforge the you want to click into that and subscribe it to it. Once you subscribe to it, the instructions are all there for installing it. There you go there, installing dedicated server, same as any other custom scenario. Remember, rename the folder you copy to your server since leaving it as default will cause errors. So. It's just a scenario, it's not an actual mod, so you don't need to worry about keys. So we go back up here. There's the ID for the mod right there. In case you can't do that, we'll go back to... we we'll go back to the main library. For the actual game itself, the workshop page for it. There's the ID for the file. 383120 if you don't have that address shown up all you have to do is click on view go down to settings once you're in settings go to interface and then you want to tick on display web address bars when available once you do that it'll give you the, give you the address for the mod and from that address then you can take out the folder ID for the actual game and if we go if we go forward a page again there is the mod ID for the actual mod 215428416 this is how you get an ID for a game or, or, or for the mod if you need it you'll need that further on here as the mod is in it doesn't use the the scenarios name I keep using it I keep calling it a mod mistakenly. It doesn't use the scenario's name, it uses the scenario's ID, Steam ID, so you need you need to be able to get that in order to install the scenario. So we can once you've subscribed to that uh, and you're all good, you wanna go back to your servo. You wanna scroll down and you wanna go to where is it? It's here somewhere. Server details. Click in the server details. Uh, click on the arrow, go down to FTP details, click execute, and then yes. Click on the three dots so it shows you more. There we go. Is your host name, which is the IP and the port, your name, and then the password, which will be the same password as you use to sign into your control panel. So once you have that data, you want to go back, file select. There's your host, so you take the data from your host name. You copy that. You go back to FileZilla. Paste it in. And we go back. You 
going to get your name. Paste your name in, password, and then your port will be the last combination of the digits 8821. Remove the 8821 from there if you want. You just hit connect. And there you go, you sign into your server. If you have a look, that there's the IP. You can go back and verify it is the right one. Close that, go back to our main page for the server, as we don't need to do anything there at the moment. So once you have, have your mod ID, this is where you need this is where you need the uh, the server. Once you're connected to the server, this is where you need the mod ID and, and the folder ID for the actual game. So wherever wherever you have your your game stored, some people will be on their C drive, but I have mine on my E drive, so I click into it. The usual process, Steam Library, Steam Apps, and then instead of going to Common as you would with a mod, you go down and you go to Workshop for a scenario, and then into Content, and then, as we stated before, we go back a page, there's your folder ID, 383120, you go back. 383120 so you click into that one and then you want to find the the mod ID again click the well scenario ID sorry I just keep calling them all mods 21542 once you have that ID you want to go back you want to click into now file silla and go to the 21542 21542A4616 and that is that is your scenario right there so you want to click into your server you want to go to content and then you want to go down to scenarios and then on scenarios this is the file that you want to you want to upload it to so as you can see there are all the different default scenarios that come with the game and then you have some other scenarios that gtx have installed as well if you want to try them i've never actually tried that shadows of starlight but or invader and defender anyway back to i'm getting sidetracked <laughs> okay we want to click in the three dots as usual right click on the actual mod and then just upload this will take a little bit of time because as you can see it's 2600 files so it will take a little bit of time so we'll come back when that installs all of that okay here it is updated or oh, uploaded sorry all right we have it there it is by its mod ID oh, it's steam ID so we just want to click on it once and then click on it again to allow us to rename it. So we'll just make it reforged. We just click on one of the other mods so it renames it. There we go, reforged. So if we back out there and go back into our scenarios, you'll see it'll give us a size and time now. All right. We want to go back now to our control panel. You want to go into configuration files. You want to go down to settings.yaml and go to the config editor. Then you want to scroll down and you want to, where it says custom scenario, you want to change it to your renamed file, which is reforged. You hit on that and we just save and exit then. There you go, 
that should be it installed on, on the servo. You just directed the machine to use that scenario file as your mission file. So all you want to do then is just restart start your servo and join it. And you'll, you'll be playing Reforged Eden. Any time that the scenario Reforged Eden updates, you'll have to go in and delete the copy that's on your filezilla. So you'll have to go to it and click on it and right click on it and then delete it, which we won't be doing. So delete it and then same again, sor source the scenario again through its ID and upload it to it again and rename it and go back and you should double check just to make sure on your on your control panel that when you do go back go back into the configuration files and if you named it the exact same thing it'd be it'd be okay but if you named it differently it caused an issue so you just want to go into the configuration files and go down and pick your reforged again and it'll all be good that's only if there's an update that's it, that's how you install it on a, on a GTX server. It's pretty simple with GTX. They do the half of it. It's a little bit more tricky with Nitrado. I might do a video on it. But same principle, exact same. You're going to the same file, content folder. And exact same method to doing it. Anyway folks, I hope this video is helpful to some of you. Might be playing Imperium and wanted to try that. And reforged Eden. I, I installed it on the server for a good friend who wanted to try it, so I hope this video is helpful to some of you. As ever, take care.